Traditionally, uh, low and middle income countries have been mostly affected by uh, communicable diseases, malnutrition, and also uh, issues related to maternal uh, health and maternal mortality. However, we are now in a transition. And when you look at uh, Asia and uh, Latin America, most countries, it's so-called non-communicable diseases that are the main causes of death. I come from an environment where both of these conditions are important. Uh, infectious diseases we haven't quite uh, uh, dealt with in terms of where they have not disappeared and yet we've got this new epidemic of non-communicable diseases that we need to address and we think it's important to meet, to a, a have a dialogue and share knowledge in terms of how these things can best be addressed. So what we hope to take away today is really what kind of learnings and insights from infectious disease control programs can work in the management of non-communicable disease programs so that we can then try these models out on the ground, validate them and scale them up or introduce them in, into health policy. That's the aim of our dialogue event today. People typically focus on one aspect, a medical solution, and tend to forget that often we need to think much more about how the medical care is being delivered, particularly in the settings where you have really poor and very weak health systems. And I think for NCDs, one of the primary needs right now is more evidence on what works and what solutions are rep representative and appropriate. I think one of the best things we could spend resources on right now in the global sector is to find those solutions that work in developing countries. We know already a lot. It's not a matter of more learning, but it's actually bringing the evidence better together. We cannot uh, just address the dual burden without having thought through what is also the research, the operational research that goes alongside from understanding the dual burden, the interactions, the multimorbidity and all those issues. One would say the learning has been primarily around that it's possible to deliver on diabetes and hypertension within the existing framework of public health, which is focused on mental and child health by enhancing community participation and involvement to improve access to healthcare services. In Ghana, just like in a lot of developing countries, the first time most people know that they have hypertension is when they get a stroke. What we are doing with Novartis is actually screening large numbers of people at the community level using chemist shops. We screen them, we picked up those who have uh, uh, hypertension, we follow them up, uh, a nurse provide, provides a prescription that's sent back to the chemist shop and in case of severe uh, uh, cases then you refer them to, uh, to the, uh, to the uh, district hospital. And this is unique because for the first time you identify large numbers of people very early in their disease before they actually uh, get worse. We've screened tens of millions of people uh, for HIV, so we are applying that lesson. There's a real need to bring experts together to reflect and discuss how are we going to face and tackle the new uh, realities in terms of uh, ill health. Uh, how are we going to deal with a double burden in many countries of communicable diseases and also chronic diseases. We need new strategies and uh, uh, we don't have a preset um, model to follow. So we have to uh, learn while we uh, move along and that's why you need to bring people together.